because Sri Lanka's lead squandered in the end by the Philippines uh, just sniping away and getting some soft tries in the process so you have to say the uh, the score line is a tough one because Sri Lanka led all the way till the last three minutes of the first half some hard aggressive uh, rucking and counter rucking going on but the aggression all undone because it comes down to protecting your line and making sure that uh, the errors uh, don't actually uh, enter the equation it, it's going to be a tough call because the next 40 minutes will decide what will happen in the Asian Five Nations rankings because four and five are pretty much up for grabs. SRB Chang is having a break and joining us on commentary is uh, Mr. Mahesh. How are you Mahesh? How are you doing today mate? Good evening sir. Good evening. Uh, my personal mentor Guru Tuma and after some time joining on the commentary box. Uh, well, uh, fresh legs, fresh mind is what uh, Sri Lanka would require for the uh, second half of this game, all important game. And uh, Sean, this is the last time that this format is, uh, uh, is, is being practiced and uh, basically it's going to be demolished, it's going to be uh, dispensed with, with the, the uh, new concept of Asian elite coming into the scene. True, true. Next year scores 1, 2, 3, which currently look like Japan, Korea and Hong Kong will be the three elite teams in the Asian uh, rugby in the format, the, Afro uh, the Asian Rugby Football Union format. And then it will be Division 1. And that's what Sri Lanka are currently playing for because four and five here in the Asian Five Nations become one and two in Division One next season. It's not very confusing for those of you at home. People who are very uh, stats guru-like will understand uh, what the requirements are. Sri Lanka's 15 aside campaign uh, this season has been a tough one, uh, Mahesh. We've not had good success. Uh, the Philippine supporters there, nice to see, clapping away for their side who've uh, crawled back and taken the lead just at the end of uh, first half, at the end of the first half. Very important psychologically that the Philippines went in the dressing room with the points in front because that meant that they had, you know, all that hard work came to something uh, of use. So, Maish, when you think about that for Sri Lanka, what, what, what would you think in the dressing room a little thinking, a little chat as to what they have to do. Well, I believe Sri Lanka has disciplined themselves compared to the other games before. But I think uh, uh, with, with the ferocity and the tenacity that they played in the first half, uh, I believe that they need a little bit of uh, uh, to, to settle themselves because we, threw, we, we saw a lot of bo balls being thrown away. And uh, I think th those, uh, th those type of uh, playing was not uh, uh, called for in the best interest of uh, the team. True, true. It's about discipline. It's about uh, making sure that uh, everything you've done in practice uh, is uh, repeated under pressure. The Volcanoes takes uh, the kickoff for the first, uh, for the second half, and uh, this is the last time Sri Lanka will have to retaliate. Uh, the last time uh, a defeat by the hands of the Philippines uh, in 2012. High ball, right in the 22. Surya Bandar takes it out, uh, out of jail, but it's inside. Here's the Philippines now with a good ball. Here's Letts, the fullback, looking to try. He's been doing this all the way through this match. Big up and under, just outside. Bilal Hassan unable to collect it cleanly. Philippines under pressure. Or Sri Lanka under pressure, rather. Skiba Rajabaksa does the clean-up work. Nice setback by him. Heti Arachi. Another big up and under from him. Perhaps not the wisest kick. But uh, in the end, Skipper Saunders having a think about it and just uh, drops the ball not really part of a plan just wax it for the sake of it Hetiarachi now with a big reply let's nicely placed underneath it a bit of football going on now kicking up and unders left and right that's uh, the uh, the foreign who's playing for Sri Lanka oh Raja Baksa with the ball has he got yes he has following up skipper Raja Baksa as he has done from time and time again, following up on good ball, great form from him. The kick by Dunn that bounced up. Unfortunately for Dunn, he couldn't collect it himself. And uh, Skipper Rajfax are following up, as he has done as a good hooker, just tracking that ball. Try time. That's a treat on the part of the skipper, Nama Rajapaksha, taking the initiative. And it was the Bintri quarter who initiated the process, uh, and uh, Rajapaksha had the liberty to collect the ball and score right under the post. It was an unkind bounce and beautifully collected by Rajapaksa, showing some very, very good skill. And then no one's going to stop him from that distance out. The line and the corner flag, the big smile says it all. All those months of hard work come to uh, some use now. That's the recovery that he's puffing on, trying to suck in as much oxygen as possible. 
good from him, good leadership, leading from the front, inspiring his side, that's what you need. And Sri Lanka will now have to come out, Mahesh, and play some possessed rugby. Play out of their skins. If they want to win this, they're going to have to play 100% better. Each player has to play 100% better than he's capable of to show what he's got. A big heart, that's what matters. No neutrality fails this time. Score stands at uh, 22 points to 19. Well, I thought Hetty Archie might have just uh, been a little bit better and get that through the slots, through the uprights, but... Uh, Unfortunately, Sri Lanka uh, fight their way back in the start of the second half. Very good form from them, wrestling back the, 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 the lead. So it's 22-19, and this game has now started to ping-pong quite nicely. Well, in the first half, uh, Sri Lanka gave seven uh, penalties, uh, as opposed to Philippines gave only uh, six penalties. And uh, that's a mark of the continuity of the game. A lot of advantage play being played. High ball. Big up and under. So, this is now Sri Lanka coming out of the shed or coming out of the dressing room. The Philippines excited. Well, they've got something to be excited and scream and shout about. But Sri Lanka, I think, will come out of that dressing room or have come out of that dressing room a lot more focused. They've got some recycled players. They've got Kalhara in that, uh, in that prop. And believe me or not, uh, lineouts in terms of lineups, uh, the World Cannons have got uh, as many as eight line lineouts, Shan. And uh, Sri Lanka got only two lineouts. That's in the first half. There's a scrum off for the uh, Philippines. The number nine there, Jake Letts. Good game from him. The Philippines, I think. Uh, Mahesh are going to settle down to just grind this ball up and down the bar. They've they been, they been really good at uh, rucks, especially in cleanups, and uh, I, I feel that uh, they go very low so that uh, Sri Lanka find it a bit difficult to counter, counter ruck, though we saw sporadic counter rucks. Uh, uh, they've been very solid uh, on, on the deck. Too true. This is what they are a heavier set. And they'll be looking to try and use that weight advantage as much as possible. They didn't do that in the first half, and they suffered a little bit. Here's good ball from Letts, nicely inside, pre-planned set move, but uh, Sri Lanka's defense stood up. Good pressure from the defense line, holding it up, didn't allow them to cross the gain line, that's the big story. But the Philippines just uh, pumping their legs now, getting that roller going. No immediate situation for a held up. Referee says ball held up, this is what we should do, Shan. Especially when they're running into the defense, uh, we should uh, try to hold them up so that you get the throwing in. That's very vital at this stage because we have not enjoyed a lot of set pieces uh, during the first half. Too true. Psychologically, so important that you are able to uh, wrestle away. And Sri Lanka winning that wrestle, that wrestling bout, just with that mall ball, holding it up. Philippines struggling a little bit with the, with the, the fitness now. Sri Lanka got uh, four scrums, uh, including this one, but uh, out of four scrums, two are not successful. So I personally believe uh, uh, more than scrums, Sri Lanka should uh, settle for lineouts. That's a player down. That's a Sri Lankan player. Yes, it uh, looks like uh, our second row. Let's have a quick look. Sorry, it's, no, it's number two. It's, uh, it's number ten, rather, Fazil. Marija, back in action. Solid player, but uh, not in his best form uh, today, Sean, though he scored a try. I'm sure he will make amendments to uh, the mistake that he did in the 22, but it was not his sin, or it was not uh, on part of him that he conceded the try, but uh, it was a ball thrown away, thrown into the in goal, and he had to do that. Not much of a choice, really, but uh, I'm sure it's something in his mind about making up. He's a very experienced player now, been around yeoman service for Sri Lanka. Scrum situation. Pressure scrum now. Something that Sri Lanka will have to settle. Win the scrum and try and get as much territory as possible. Get out of here. The six shoulders in the front. Uh, Bilal Hassan. Beautifully done. Over the gain line. Does well. Look at number 13. He's putting his hand. Let's see what referee says. It's a ruck and you can't handle the ball. Number 13 deliberately put his hand in. Well, terrible error from the number 13. Not quite sure what he was doing. And, and this is the fourth uh, one. Not necessary. A little bit of argy bargy. Little confrontation there. Expected. So this is Sri Lanka. Need to settle down. They need to play rugby. If they get caught up, 
getting their tempers or letting their tempers get the better of them is uh, something that uh, they haven't been practicing and that's not what you really want from both sides really so uh, skippers called over saunders and uh, nama rajapaksa saying listen referee is just saying listen mate this is the fourth penalty sri lanka have got which means in other words philippines have not done as many mistakes as sri lankans have done or rather the infringements very much so Sri Lanka takes uh, the option to kick to touch and uh, take the throwing in. Well, you know, when you look at these games, and this is a pressure game for Sri Lanka, uh, Mahesh, and they really need to maintain discipline more than anything else. Whatever happens, even if Philippines are caught trying to just uh, try and undo Sri Lanka, they'll be trying to try and niggle Sri Lanka out of focus. They'll try to hit them underneath inside when they're rucking in the malls. They're going to try and do some damage. Little niggles. If Sri Lanka react, they react badly, they forget the game, they start to uh, do stuff that they're not normally uh, have, have done at practice, and then we're going to be in all sorts of bother. That's something that Sri Lanka will have to be conscious of. Skipper Rajapaksa has a responsibility to make sure that his side play the best rugby they can. Off the line out. Uh, the driving mall. The ball is still kept intact in uh, possession of Sri Lanka. On the deck immediately after the ball, the ball emerges, so referee allows uh, the play to continue. As you said, use it. Here's Satya Ranatunga. Maybe he should have just put his head down and driven harder. Quick squeeze ball and uh, number 11. Here's Dunn. Okay. Almost on the line. Surya Bandara, has he got through? Sri Lanka knocked forward, unfortunately. Unfortunate uh, knock on uh, just a foot away. From uh, the from the try line, there's a puppery band very close by, enjoying Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's performance here is a big man. Look at that. There's the number 11 for Sri Lanka. Joseph Dunn. But from this uh, camera angle, we could not find out whether there was a knock on, but if the signals out, I'm sure he had a, he had a proper vision because he was right in there. Yes, Dunn was inches away from that line, would have been a marvelous try. But unfortunately, last line of Philippine defense. There's the Philippines now trying to get out of jail in all sorts of bother. They need to settle down and play themselves into this game. All sorts of protests going on. A little bit of chat as well. That uh, simmering little story underneath there. They need to control their tempers. If that starts to break away, there'll be all sorts of bother in the middle. Well, Referee penalizes uh, Shara for uh, handling in the ruck. And uh, this is also another trend, Deshaun, in most of being a referee. I know, especially in the second half, referee, uh, the players tend to put their hands inside the ruck. I think this is the this is an area that Sri Lanka needs to improve. Even at club or school level, this this happens very often. Too true. Again, you come down to that basic format of discipline. It's so important uh, that they do maintain the highest level of discipline in games like this. If you uh, let your guard down, well, then they're looking for trouble. Ninth line out for the Volcanoes. Let's see whether it's number two or number four. They were really good at number number four. That's number four exactly. That's Feeney who's been jumping really well. Nice and controlled by him. Had a bloody nose to start with, but he's all right now. Free kick given for numbers for Sri Lanka having one number extra. Again, we come back to those little errors that you don't really uh, count. You need to make sure that you get it right. And that's something that Sri Lanka has now been guilty of on several occasions. Good tackle. Very soft from the Philippines. And we need to understand that uh, having only a slender margin of three points that we cannot uh, afford to have. Uh, now, mistakes. that is so stupid from Sri Lanka. They had it, they got the ball, referee saw what the player was doing, and he just turned that knock forward to Sri Lanka. It was our put in on a scrum. It's a penalty to the Philippines. This is where you get it wrong, uh, uh, Mahesh. This is where we talk about simple clarity and simple discipline look at that like you know like uh, exactly Sean said now that was the throwing for Sri Lanka but we conceded the penalty unnecessary penalty 
and this is a throwing in at the line out. Now they are in a half, and this can even lead to a try. Well, if it does, whom does, whom does Sri Lanka look to? Where does the finger of blame point? It's about players understanding what they have to do. Quick throw in, good defense. Uh, Excellent Yoshita defense. Takes him on. This is what Sri Lanka have to do play hard, aggressive rugby, play rugby. I wish that they get the same pattern that they had in the first 20 minutes of the game. Two, two. Close one on the deck. Ball emerges. Saunders. Off to front. Three marks. Play continues outside Sri Lanka's 22. Beautiful passage of play. Bilal Hassan. Getting about his business. He needs to do this a lot more. Settle up the side, play some good set rugby, and uh, maybe just uh, settle down the ball in the loose as well. Sixth penalty for Sri Lanka for, for piling up. Philippines uh, have, been, uh, have been doing this uh, since the inception. They have the tendency to go low and go over as well. Well, I'll tell you, my, uh, my age, they really haven't settled down. Sri Lanka has been working so hard on the defense uh, and been counter-rocking so well that the Philippines really have not settled. Uh, and that's something that Sri Lanka has done with a great, uh, great command. They've really unset the Philippines line. So uh, we just need to now see where this game is going to head. If this game is going to carry on in this, this manner, in this vein, it's going to be interesting to see who will then have the legs to play the last 15, 20 minutes. We just started the second half, Mahesh, and there's a lot of time on the clock. And this is the fourth line out, Sean. And uh, like I said uh, uh, at the very outset, that uh, Sri Lanka have not enjoyed many set pieces. Uh, in other words, Philippines have not done as many infringements Sri Lanka did or Sri Lanka perpetrated. Too true. Little things matter and all the stats. So important that uh, you are able to play your game and get it right. And meanwhile, let's have a change of uh, hands for microphone. I invite uh, Chang to join again. Thank you very much, Mahesh. That's good ball from uh, Hasita. Nice and collected for him at the front of that line out. Oshan Viratna has come on as a scrum half. Sri Bandara has gone off. Viratna, of course, very aggressive scrum half. Plays like an extra forward. Rajapaksa trying to make that break. Looked like there was a little bit of a knock forward there as he hit the deck. Yes, referee saw that. So, uh, the tighter Sri Lanka can get to play in this second half, in the next 25 minutes, the better it will get for them. Here's the Viratna. Picking up that ball after Nama Rajapaksa had uh, taken the initial carry forward. Good yards, good gain from all Sri Lanka's front row forwards. And of course, uh, Kalhar has now come on. Sean, the advantage of playing Veer Ratna is that you can you can play him as a 10th or uh, ninth forward because he can distribute the ball well and he can play as a forward. He's a strong lad at the base of the scrum. The options are open. Too true. You add a little bit more to the dimensions of that game for Sri Lanka's attack format. And defense is excellent in defense as well. Having said that, Suri Bandara, outstanding player, done his job really well. So Sri Lanka's recycling impact players, nice to see. Satyarana is there. Terence Henry off the park. Kalhara on the park. Big strong lad is uh, young Kalhara. Such a prospect for Sri Lanka. These young players need to be playing as much international rugby as possible. That's of course the priority for Sri Lanka rugby to try and see that they travel these lads as much as possible. The 15-a-side format needs as heavy a set of forwards as possible. You need to target something in the region of 8.50, 75 in terms of weight. Nicely done there through the two tackles. Set back cleanly from the Philippines. Here's uh, Let's Extra man on the wide. Nice tackle. Good cover defense from uh, Danushka and the wingman himself done penalty little bit of niggle you can see that going on between the players they need to control that whoever loses their temper is gonna be uh, troublesome because the referee and the touch judges will pick up on that so quickly 
as Saunders is saying, look, we'll just take the line out. The Philippines, I have to say, are looking a little bit tired, uh, Chang'a, the Volcanoes. Uh, Sri Lanka's opportunity now because they're playing at home. These conditions are very familiar to try and up the level of performance. Oh, these little errors. I think the skipper has done a great job for the Philippines. He's been up front there, marshalling his troops so well. And uh, as you say, the tired legs are coming through. It's very hot. We are in air-conditioned comfort here, Sean. <laughs> there you go, Tanga. <laughs> I have to feel for the boys in the middle. It's not anywhere comfortable. But uh, having said that, it's about the time spent in practice. How much high performance have they done? How much? How much of the hard yards have they run down? How many scrums? Everything matters. Every single bit comes down to now. There's Viratna trying to get his forwards to uh, commit a little bit more. So important that the communication between that forward eight becomes rock solid, Chang'a. Yeah, absolutely. As we see, 22, 19, 62 minutes almost gone. Sri Lanka in front, just, just in front. And have to try and maintain this slender lead. Perhaps a few more points. Viratna delayed it and all sorts of bother. This is not good play, uh, Chang'a. It was a, a terrible story there because he needed to put the ball in quickly. Sri Lanka have to readjust. The Philippines are a heavier pack. They know that. They need to be a lot tighter and a lot quicker. Oh, lovely.